Olaf. So I'm a bit confused because um, what exactly makes you a racist or not? These questions. <laughs> I was, I was having a rapport with the camera just now. Yeah. Look, what is actually much more interesting when it comes down to the individual is whether or not you are an anti-racist. That's more interesting because, you know, the, the way this is structured, if you do nothing at all, if you uh, do not actively and intentionally commit to dismantling racism and white supremacy, in our day and age, in our society, if you do nothing at all, you're confirming and tolerating and contributing to a racist society. That's what it is. There's no way around that. Um, so, are we all kind of racists, right? I think as, for example, people from marginalized positions, so like racialized positions, or so like people who are on the, on the negative end of racism, um, like we can internalize racism as well, you know, that can be something that we start believing in because it's such a dominant narrative of our lives. But in general, if you're white, you're, you're gaining privilege from this system, no matter whether or not, you, and it's material privilege as well, whether or not you do something, whether, you, whether or not you want to or not. The question is, are you actively fighting it? See, that's a much more interesting position, much more interesting definition because Yes, you can be an anti-racist. That is something that you can definitely be. You just have to, you know, work hard and fight racism every day of your life. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people d are not really interested in fighting racism because they're not affected by it. Well, we're all affected by racism, huh? We're all affected by it. A lot of people and when I say a lot of people, I'm, I'm just, okay, let me, let me just talk to white people specifically. <laughs> um, racism harms you too. I think racism inherently makes it practically impossible for white people around the world and here to really be part of the larger family of humanity. Um, the distance, the hierarchy, the sort of the supremacy that comes from being placed on a pedestal of purity, of perfection, of being much more human than the others is a very lonely and a very alienating and isolating system. The privileges of wealth, of status, of, um, and of dominance may seem like a good enough privilege, like a good enough benefits from the system, but I argue that the loss, that the inability to be part of the human larger family and the project that is, the global project that is Earth, is something that is, doesn't, that doesn't make it worth it. So we all, you know, and then perhaps if I'm speaking to people of color, we all benefit obviously as people of color from destroying this system. So whichever way you are at, as a white person, as a person of color, this system is not your friend. It is killing us, it is isolating us, it is alienating us, and it's making it almost impossible for us to feel connected to one another, which is, I don't know, I, feel, I find very tragic. Hey, I love these Olave Explains. Hashtag Olave Explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olave Talks, our Facebook page, Olave Talks, and our Twitter, Olave Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us? To explain, we have, we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know. <laughs>